We are gonna watch when racist suspects realize they've been arrested. Let's see these little racist mother. Uh, oh yeah, I can't swear that early in the vlog. My fault. I'm sorry. Hi YouTube. Hello. How, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Um, did you watch the other video? Um, uh, I don't. We saw like a little kid. No, you didn't see that or the Chuck E. Cheese one? No. Well, subscribe if you haven't. You could check them out if you want. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, I hope you're doing good. By the way, you know what I mean. We got that Thanksgiving. Ooh, Thanksgiving meals was so good. I mean, Christmas is coming up. You want a Christmas present? You could. You could let me know in the comments below. I'm. Pro I'm probably not gonna get it for you. I'm not Santa Claus, but like, I'll see it and be like, wow, this got expensive taste. I'm definitely not getting that for her. Wow. Is there really anything better than watching a racist get put in their place? You're going to jail, you racist piece of shit. Well, here are four examples of this. Starting with a woman whose simple-minded views made headlines across the United States. Go back to India. Why? We don't want you here. On August 24th, oh. 2022, she three lost women her mind. of Indian American descent were leaving the 60 Vines restaurant in Plano, Texas. While saying their goodbyes in the parking lot, they were confronted by this extremely angry woman out of nowhere. I will hit her with the illest uppercut, bro. I'm I'm making them little earrings pop off. They're gonna dangle and go in slow motion with her. That. We don't want you here. How about that? You ever think about that? All you do is put fucking raisins in a tuna casserole and shit. You be fucking up food and up everybody's mood. You just be going into grocery stores being mad, loud, unprovoked. Just fuck you. I'm tired of you. Your, your husband don't even love you. For really? He cheating on you. That's why you mad for real. You shriveling old up raisin. Thank you. The woman named Miss Up she gotta be drunk became enraged when she heard the three friends saying goodbye in an Indian language and decided to give them a piece of her mind the three ladies gave as good as they got and as you can see here the situation spiraled out of control Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with we were not talking to you you came here <laughs> get the out of here get bloody do not touch me Oh hell no, chat. Listen, I'm telling you right now. If any, if you're in an argument with anyone, do not let them get this close, bro. Hit them with the cleanest one-two straight down that. But don't do them wide swings. I know y'all want to do some wide-ass hooks. That's how all y'all little bitches fight. I don't know why. You got that little hamika maka, right? Just go straight down the middle with that. Boom, boom, drop that. Bitch. What are you talking about? She gonna be shaking like Bambi in them little heels. <laughs> Yo, fight back. Hurry is crazy. I'd be like, mayonnaise eating ass, ho. No, I'm not white. I'm Mexican. Oh. I'm Mexican. And I'm well, I got I got a few in the chamber for you. <laughs> hey, you want to be racist? I'm not going to lie. I got a few in the chamber. You don't want that. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Yo, someone come get their little titi over here, okay? Because she about to get fucked up. She don't want this. <laughs> She's hitting my friend now. Miss Upton knows she's on camera, mm. yet she still chooses to lie about hitting the woman. Like, why? <laughs> why are they just all watching? There's like four of y'all jump this. <laughs> what? Why? You just gonna watch your friend get hit and just, oh my god, she hitting my friend now? Like, bitch, fight! Fight! Scoop that hoe! Drop her on the floor and start stomping her ass out! What are y'all doing? Even films the incident herself. Probably not the smartest move since she's just recording her own extremely racist outburst. I am not hitting your friend. You guys are all about I don't know, but don't she just hit my hand. She here. just hit my phone a bit. I'm in a video. Now. I'm at the 69 parking lot. Oh, here. Can you here's please send the some video. The girl in the back got the wide angle. She's, she don't want no part of this, but she wants to record. <laughs> That's her mom? Fight for self-defense? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Get racist back. Get racist back. Fuck it. Fight racism with racism. I like that. Go back to your country. How about that, motherfucker? Go back to your country. I'm a Mexican-American. I was born here. 
So what the fuck does that mean? You eat tacos on Taco Tuesday, bitch? Get the fuck out of here. You gonna eat that little taco kid? Bitch, I don't want no half and half, motherfucker. You think I want them fucking white people tacos? Fuck out of here. I want that carne asada. I want that good shit from the streets, bitch. Kenji, pause, please. Oh, my fault. I'm sorry. My fault. It, friendly fire? Someone in here? My fault. My fault. I'm sorry. Mexican American, but I speak you. The four of us are talking. Why would you come and talk to us? Yeah. Oh, why are y'all letting her hit, bro? Chat, at least get mace or something. Spray this bitch down. Listen. It's okay. I give you permission, Kengel. Thank you. I don't know. Oh wow, she's so racist. Where's the cop come in? You want to talk about? Fuck that! I got a few in the chamber for Mexicans. Every time I go to, nah, let me stop. <laughs> Every time I go to, <laughs> I got some in the chamber. Kenji, I don't want to get canceled, but this bitch is pissing me off, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> We Mexicans don't claim her. She's pissing me off, bro. Some, yo, someone, someone in chat, come get you, girl. Kenji, no, nah, fuck that. Oh God, you gonna see me on TikTok getting dragged? Kenji, no, nah, fuck that. I don't care, bro. We don't claim her. <laughs> All right, let's watch. Well, bitch, if life is so great in Mexico, why the fuck are you here? We can use the same, the same fucking uh, thing for you. How about that, Miss Ma'am? Huh? What? Because you got you, you fuck a white guy. You think you're better than me? Huh? Motherfucker, get the fuck out of here. Are we in a motherfucking Home Depot parking lot? Why are you talking to me, ma'am? Get the fuck away from me, comprende? Fuck out of here. Why are you here? Oh, God. Get away from my motherfucking Indian friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's... She's apologizing. I overstepped my bounds, and I'm sorry. She's suddenly apologizing and saying peace. I don't know what that means. Like, oh, because she, she's people. calling the cops. That's why, bro. Come here, because yeah. we are not feeling safe here. Don't that, safe right now. What? Look, I'm not going to hurt you guys. Look at me. I'm all of 100 pounds, and you guys oh. weigh well over 200 pounds. As you may have guessed, it <laughs> she's talking mad shit. She's talking mad shit. Yo, all, I'm I'm really proud of them for not jumping her, bro. Turns <laughs> out her apology wasn't as sincere as you might have thought. But what she does next takes her abuse to a whole new level. Uh oh. Stop videoing me. I swear to God, I'm not going to break the fucking camera. Oh. She gotta be drunk, bro. I'm going to go to the restaurant. Let's just go to the restaurant. Yo, where's the police at? Someone get her. Oh my god, now she's going to the third <laughs> friend. She's... Yeah, yeah. She's coming back. Stop, woman! Oh my god, she's. Please come. Please get here quickly. Don't engage. What do you mean, don't engage? Be careful. Tackle her. Tackle her. Notice Miss Upton has her hand in the bag. And according to the three victims, she claims she is hiding a gun and is threatening to shoot if they don't stop filming. If she's telling the truth, the situation could turn deadly. But thankfully, police units arrive before things Ooh. get any worse. There we go. Take the back of her knees. <laughs> She's a hundred pounds, bro. I'll grip her up by her ankle and toss her. Uh-oh. All of you can back up that way, please. Sure. 
But do you, do you see, do you see, let me, let's go ahead and just talk about this right now, right? Do you see the white bitch, she goes up to the cop first so she could tell her little story. The fucking cop, instead of just being neutral, go ahead and tell the motherfucking, they said, he said, back up. Go ahead and everybody back up. That is insane to me, bro. According to the victim's lawyer, Miss Upton also claimed to have a gun in her car, but it turns out she was just running her mouth. Even with the evidence on camera, the officers let Upton go, only arresting her the next morning. Mm. She was charged with making- You see how that goes, bro? You see how that goes? You see how that goes? So he didn't even do his job, bro. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's a white America chat. It is how it is, bro. It is what it is. It is what it is. Horistic threats. Just a few months later, one of the victims filed that a white lawsuit privilege. for an unknown amount of damages, telling the court the incident had affected her life and left her waking up in cold sweats. The victims here are lucky things didn't get physical, but the four girls in this next case weren't so fortunate. Uh -oh. When an angry father returned to a coffee shop to complain about a drink he ordered, the situation became so out of control that the video clip went viral across the internet and got Mr. Ianazo in a lot of trouble. Please don't uh -oh. yell at us. Yeah. Oh, I remember seeing this on TikTok. You have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't We don't know me. who made it, so. We don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't know. Stupid ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the Bye. Man. Okay, you can call corporate or whatever you want. Goodbye. Do you understand? Do you understand? No, I don't care. He had explained while ordering his drink that his Why son no had guy an extreme there? allergy to peanuts and asked the staff to make sure there were no peanuts in his drink. When he got home and gave the drink to his son, he had an allergic reaction. His complaint was genuine and his son's reaction was so bad that he needed immediate medical help. Mr. Yanazo wasn't happy, but as this video shows, his reaction was completely over the top. Oh, he tossed the drink at her. Yo, if, yo, oh God, if I ever found that out if i ever found out that information i'm spinning back you're gonna throw a drink at me i'm spinning back i'm gonna rub a peanut on your son's lip it's over for him oh god it's up for him hey tell him to say hi to jesus for me I like her, bro. Bye. You shut up. You're not gonna tell me to shut up. Who are you? Who are you? I like her, bro. What? You. Get the out. Get the out. Get the out. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You immigrant loser. Hold on now, buddy. Yeah, I'm definitely spinning back. Whole lot. I'm gonna bring a whole lot of nuts. Catalog of nuts. Peanuts, almonds, fucking. Pistachios. I'm drowning your son in them fucking. Hey, <laughs> Look, he's trying to go back there with them. Bro, call the police now. Uh, why is there not like a dude there? After racially abusing the teen behind the counter and trying to barge his way into the kitchen, this employee has seen enough and orders Ianazo to leave. It's worth pointing out that Mr. Ianazo has come straight to the coffee shop while his son was being rushed to the hospital, something that was later brought up in his court case. That is crazy. Crystal said, to be fair, parents do crazy things when their child's life is at stake. If your kid had an allergic reaction, is your first reaction to go to the coffee shop where you got the drink? Or maybe go to the hospital with your son. And I mean, make sure he's good. Like, there's no excuse for this at all, ever. And I mean, you can come back later after your son's okay. Come back, get make a, a fucking complaint and then sue, right? But like, you don't go to the, like your son's having an allergic reaction. You don't go, not go to the hospital and then start saying, oh, you're an immigrant. Fuck you. Make my shit. Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't agree with that at all, Crystal. Um, he's young, 
For his racial outburst, Mr. Uh -oh. Iannazzo was sentenced to Accelerated Rehabilitation, or AR, What's which is that? a Connecticut program for first-time offenders by which charges can be dismissed after a period of probation, which in this case is one year. He was also ordered to donate $500 to charity. He was even fired from his job, but ultimately found employment somewhere else. Mr. Iannazzo will be a more- $500 to charity and one year probation? Huh? He just assaulted- a teen in a in a establishment bro had four girls scared for their lives what if i was there see if i was there on oh god i'm jumping over the counter i'm hitting that motherfucker with the craziest headlock i'm ah! like bro i'm going crazy you know what i mean i'm flying past that motherfucker ah! like what it's over for him what are you talking about and i'm gonna be behind like go to sleep Shh, go to sleep go to sleep Shh. Go to sleep, your son not gonna make it, your son not gonna make it. Like, bro, what? Portalized on the internet and will always be known as the Fairfield Smoothie Guy. If you thought that guy had a bad temper, wait till you see this ex-reality star who thinks he's above the law. Just harassing black people, that's all y'all are doing. All right, but where's the take? You stupid <laughs> Former love and hip hop star Benzino is Ooh. no stranger to trouble, having more than one brush with the law over the years. But Benzino, when he was know by him? officers on June 22nd, 2019, he took things to a whole new level. Just harassing black people, that's all y'all are doing. It's all right. That has nothing right. to do with oh, it. Oh, it does have to No, it doesn't. Because he did that to a white person. You have a warrant. Or an Asian person. The trouble started <laughs> you when have officers a warrant. in Brookhaven, Georgia <laughs> noticed. <laughs> That is the funniest shit ever. Chat. Chat. Y'all racially profile me. Y'all always talking about like, dang. It's just uh, it's harassing black people. Sir, you have a warrant out for your arrest. Several, actually. The f*** do you do? You're an Avengers level threat. Sir, put your hands up. <laughs> Motherfucker, they should be sending Iron Man after you. What the fuck? Mr. Benzino's car blocking traffic and decided to pull him over. As they approached his vehicle, Benzino decided to speed off into a nearby apartment complex. The quick thinking uh -oh. officers took down his license plate before he escaped, and Benzino's problems were about to get much, much worse. Uh -oh. When the officers ran the license plate, they discovered there was a warrant out for his arrest. Uh -oh. They drove to his address where they found him outside, but when they told him about the warrant, things turned up. Ugly, leading to this confrontation. I just need to know who I, 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 I can, who I call my lawyer. Okay, hold on, hold on, sir. Can we explain to her what's going on? Yeah, I know what's going on. Well, okay, well, as soon as I pulled up right here to drop my son off, he just he just runs my tag and he says I was blocking the street. Yeah, we're allowed to run your tag. No, but I'm saying, what, what did I do wrong to run my tag? So, by law, we can run your tag no matter what. Okay, Ted. Oh, okay, okay, all right. And no I'll problem. explain it to you, okay? I don't know if you did, okay? No, no problem. So, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't okay. know that I could just be harassed for any old reason. Okay, you know and saying? let me let me explain it to you, okay? Tags are Sir, records. you murdered three babies in another state. <laughs> the, the police have been looking. You're on the news. <laughs> so we can run them. I pulled over right over there. Can okay, I explain, can I explain to you? something to you? The officer is absolutely correct. Police can run a license plate check on any vehicle at any time without probable cause. After all, a simple computer check doesn't impede the driver in any way. All Benzino is doing here is making the situation a lot worse. I pulled over right here. Okay, now listen, no listen. Space. No matter what, if we run your tag, it has a wanted hit on you. Now listen, listen to me. What we do, it's not out of us. We're just law enforcement, okay? Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not raising my I voice. Oh, okay. okay. Didn't do anything. I... Did you get a ticket back today with your payment? Did you get a ticket with us and you didn't go to court or pay it? Tell me so what kind of ticket you get. They all say ticket. I don't know what ticket you want. I don't know. Now, this is what we do, okay? We confirm it. Sometimes, <clears> if it's in the system and it's old, they'll just cancel it. They're like, no, it's not good no more. Oh, okay. well, so, listen. He's going to confirm it, okay? I live here and it's like I'm getting harassed. Like, we're not pull a white person you. Okay. like that. Listen, oh, it does man. not matter your color. Man. Despite the officer explaining the law to him very clearly, Benzino starts to become more and more uh -oh. angry. I feel like I'm being harassed. Well, you're not. Okay. Well, okay. well, I feel like I am. That's I fine have if that you right. feel that okay. way, but I'm telling that right. you you're not. You have well, a I have warrant that right. out. I have okay. that right to feel like I'm being harassed. You can feel okay. that way. Okay. But you Sir, have you have a warrant. <laughs>
you're feeling harassed, but you harassed 17 kids. They're supposed to be in jail. <laughs> Yo, fuck that handcuff his bitch ass. You know what they waiting for? They waiting for backup. Cause that little man right there is not taking his ass down and that girl is not helping him. They are both getting dragged. He, he has a warrant out for his arrest. Sir, you have Hulk strength, please. Okay. He said he's behind okay. me. He should have pulled me over. He never pulled me over. <laughs> Even though he has had the law explained to him several times, Benzino isn't listening and reaches meltdown levels of anger. Just harassing black people. That's all y'all are doing. It's all right. That has it's nothing right. to do with oh, it. Oh, it does have No, to. it doesn't. Because he did that to a white person. You have a warrant. Or an Asian person. That's and it. The only reason he pulled me over because I'm black. Period. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm not breaking well, no law. I'm of... He's mixed, laugh my ass off. <clears throat> okay, when you're getting racially profiled, um, I don't know if you know this, right? I don't, I don't know arm arms are getting, right? I don't know what you are. Uh, I'm not gonna assume what you are. But what I will say is, uh, motherfuckers don't really see shades. You know what I mean? If you ever see that Family Guy shit, it's kind of funny, but also fucked up. Like, let me see, uh, Family Guy police shades. Um, look. It, it's kind of like this, bro. Okay. I, I don't know what you are. Now, it's for the person that said he doesn't look black. Oh, okay. So for that person, right? This is pretty much it, right? Okay. There, there is racist motherfuckers out here. Okay. It'd be ignorant to say there isn't. Racism runs rampant, especially, especially in America. Okay. Sadly, that's a thing. And, and motherfuckers don't care if, if they're mixed. Motherfuckers don't care if whatever the fuck. They just know you're not white, motherfucker. Get the fuck on the ground. Stop resisting. You understand? All right. I've been profiled multiple times in my life. Okay. And I promise you, I'm not out here looking like my fucking, my uncle, fucking cousin. None of that shit. All right. I'm, I'm a little light skinned. You see my arms, bro. All right. They don't give a fuck about that, dude. Sadly. I can't make you but you. This is crazy. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. All right. So she did. Makes kids get bullied like hell where you're where I'm at. Bro, it happens. I'm not gonna lie, like chat. It's really hard, bro. It's really hard. I motherfucking I don't know what you guys are. But okay, 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 look, 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 look. I'm fucking I'm mixed. If y'all motherfuckers don't know, okay. And growing up, it was weird. Cause it was like, okay, I'm too white to chill with the black kids. I'm too uh fucking black to chill with the white kids. I don't speak Spanish, so I can't chill with motherfucking little Spanish kids. So I'm just like stuck there getting like eyed by everybody. It's like almost like you're in the middle of everything you know what i mean and then there's even levels to it where there's like color like motherfuckers are colorists motherfuckers are like it, it's weird it's like all angles it's it's like all it's insane oh your hair is a certain texture but you look like that your features are different but it's just weird bro it's really weird it fucking sucks yeah, people are tribalistic i get it but like it's so weird yeah so growing up it's fucking it's weird it's a really weird thing so you feel like you're never really fit in or at least i that's how i feel i never really feel like i fit in you know what i mean but whatever dude i don't know it sucks but all right and we'll show you all the paperwork okay kenji in his logic era <laughs> yo did y'all see when i was getting canceled i put logic as my profile picture <laughs> they they're like he's white i put logic on my profile picture and said call me the new logic under comments bro i was going crazy <laughs>
<laughs> I'll go fuck about none of that. Out of Brookhaven? I've never even been pulled over in Brookhaven. Well, it's showing that you have a ticket that you did not pay or you didn't go to court. A ticket for what? It'll say it ticket? on there. He will let you know. You mean a parking ticket? I'm going to jail Whatever. for a parking ticket. You said it's a parking what ticket. It, is know. that what it was? Well, why don't you ask? I don't know what it is. I don't do nothing. I don't do shit. He's going crazy in the back seat right now. I'm black, but people are always uh, asking if I'm Indian or Filipino. You got like, wait, you racially ambiguous? I like a little fucking Bruno Mars low key. And then if I get a beard, I'm looking like fucking, uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I can say. <laughs> I got a bunch of chat. I just know I can pull off a bunch of different looks if I really wanted to. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Motherfuckers look at me and like, what are you? <laughs> All right. Oh, I want to learn some just crazy ass language and just throw motherfuckers off crazy, bro. Oh, God, bro. Yeah, chat. I want to learn some stupid shit like fucking, I don't know. What is it like fucking Swedish or something? I don't know if that's a language, bitch. I want to learn how to speak Swedish. You know what I mean? Just start fucking people up. It'd be over. All right. What? He's going to let you know in a minute. I've never even been pulled over for parking. I don't know what it is. I don't well, you have. He's mad. The lady with him looks less than impressed at being stuck in the middle of the confrontation as officers try to explain the situation to her. When the officer allows her to speak to Benzino, he takes the opportunity to continue his outburst. She wants to talk to you. Can you calm down so I can pull the window down? Do you want to talk to your family? Do you want to talk to my dick? Okay, calm down. Warning. I got upstairs. They made a mistake. Look at the one. Let me go get you up. Honey. Oh, hey, listen. I'm a stupid fucking fuck. That's the shit. Last thing you see. Yeah, yeah. Get over to me, bitch. Fucked up. I'm suing you, bitch. Stupid bitch. Benzino was booked and sent to jail for his racist abuse towards the officer of Vietnamese origin, proving that reality stars, no matter how famous, aren't above the law. Wait, so was the warrant right? Damn, that motherfucker sweating. You'll turn the AC on for him. <laughs> but the only thing worse than a racist person is a racist cop. Someone possessing both uh -oh. hatred and the ability to make life miserable for someone they discriminate against. Even going as far as planting false evidence. Oh, I've this seen this before. Yeah, we gotta find some. Okay. I don't want to see that right now. Okay. Okay. There aren't many violations of rights that are as serious as evidence planting. It shows a complete lack of respect for the suspect and is a chilling abuse of power by those in law enforcement. Scary. This is made even worse when the evidence is planted because of the suspect's skin color. This is exactly what happened in March 2018 in Staten Island, New York. This case became so serious that the FBI eventually became involved. Holy Officers shit. Erickson and Pastrana had pulled over a vehicle after noticing its broken tail light. During the stop, Pastrana told the officer he could smell marijuana and that they were going to need to search his car. Because the car smells like marijuana, so we're going to check it, all right? Then that's it. Then I got to make sure everything's good with your end with the license. If it's just a permit, I'm not going to give you the summons for it. And I told you, uh, just get the taillight fixed. If there's nothing in the car, you'll be good to go. All right. If there's something in the car, just let me know now. I appreciate honesty. Okay. Okay. So just hop out. And they're confident. First of all, they have no right to search the vehicle chat. They don't have a right. You motherfucker. They can't search your shit. Okay. They can't do that. That's not a thing, but they were confident. Okay. They're confident. There's nothing in there because they're not doing anything and they let them search. 
because they don't have anything and then they try to plan it isn't that fucked side of the car that's the so male foul passenger explains to erickson he is recovering from a stab wound and is having difficulty moving the officers take no notice and order both of them out of the vehicle it smells Dude, like weed cigarettes i can show you the cigarettes it smells like weed okay if there's nothing in the car you guys will be on your way you understand just stay in the car for a second just wait why because I'm asking you to, you step out. What? This is for our safety, okay? We're doing one at a time. Look, I, look, I, look, I just got he is going to step out look, after you step out, okay? Okay. I don't want to see that right now, okay? I can get out. I can barely move, bro. Okay. I don't, I don't want to see that right now. You can put that away, okay? I'm asking you to step out of the car, okay? Do you hear him? Just hold on. Okay. That's fine. Like, no, like, no uh, you have to allow a search or they have to be sure like 100% there's nothing in the car. No, bro. You don't have to allow a fucking shirt, a search. They can try. Like if they're like, oh, can I search your vehicle? No. They'll probably get a fucking dog out and then make that motherfucker bark. You know what I mean? But still at this, at that point, bitch. You know what I mean? I guess they could violate your rights however they want. What am I saying? They're police. You don't get an option. Like I said, this is a very simple process. Oh, got gotcha, you, Joy. Any weed on you? I don't have nothing on me. Look. Okay, that's look, fine. Look, look. Nope. Nope. We need to check the car, so I need you to hop out. Yeah. Okay. Like, come on. I don't have nothing on me. Okay. I can barely move. Stand by the curb. When the officer asks to search so his jacket, up. the passenger refuses, and the cops decide to get heavy-handed. Give me the no, jacket. There's nothing in my jacket. I'm not getting my searched man. for no reason. I'm in. I don't have nothing in my jacket. I'm not. Like, I don't have nothing. Yo, relax. 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 I hate this. Yo, listen. He's gonna. Be, he's gonna. He, handcuffs are gonna go on him if he doesn't relax. You gotta relax. 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 It's my possession. It's my, no, it's not. Come on. Relax. Relax. Yo, I can, yo, yo, yo. Relax. Yo, 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 relax. Yo, 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 relax. Relax. Yo, relax. Yo, relax. Yo, 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 you cannot do this relax. to me. I, yo, relax. yo, you cannot do this to me. Bro. Relax. Take him down. Take him down. He relax. just got surgery. Take him down. Take him down. Why, yo, relax. Relax. Is that his jacket? No. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Put that jacket down right now. Put the jacket down. After securing both the driver and the passenger, the officers can finally get down to searching the car. Before they did, Pastran made it clear Erickson had to find evidence of drugs. Searching the rest of the car. Yeah, we gotta find some. Watch closely as Erickson searches the car. It's clear that there are no drugs lying around. Crazy. Nothing in there, bro. Now you feel stupid, stupid, dummy, stupid boy. Yeah. Should I, should I search the whole thing? Or you yeah, search the whole thing. nothing can't you just make me mad yeah you should be mad how you doing i'm fine how are you doing good these motherfuckers have no probable cause oh no their tail lights out apparently who knows if that's even true you know what i mean no reason to search the vehicle there's no smell of marijuana because there's no marijuana there there's no fucking weed nothing they have to find some because they just threw this man to the ground, illegally searched him, and now they're about to plant some fucking fake evidence. Terrible. At this point, the driver becomes suspicious and demands to watch as her vehicle is searched. Okay. Yeah, just, just hang out on the sidewalk for me. 
Where's my car, please? Why, why I can't go by my car? Why? What's up? Why can't I go by my car? You just hang out. You checked it. What's up? Okay. Hello? The vehicle is clean, but that isn't good enough for either officer. And mm -hmm. Erickson returns to the vehicle and decides to plant a small amount of marijuana in these shocking scenes. And you know, you know what else? You know what else this means? That they're the criminals smoking the weed. You're over here trying to find criminals smoking weed. You're smoking the hashish, buddy. Fucking hypocrite. A little bit of weed. Wow. Wow. You couldn't be subtle with the body cam. See, if he was smart, he would have fucking put the flashlight in his camera. Okay, and did this the first time. Fucking evil, yeah. All of a sudden, they find the evidence they are looking for, as if by magic. Yeah, no, he had weed. You could see his weed here. I don't know. I'm gonna check the rest of the jacket, man. There might be weed, yeah. I wanna get some of this, so, you know? Yeah, that's probably why he was bugging out, because he had a little weed on him. Yeah, that's the reason why. That's the reason. Oh, you crooked fucking pig. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hope they get sent to prison, bro. And then fucked. And then fucked. Like, it's 60 days in. And fucked. And fucked. Sorry. Yeah. I got it because there's a hole in the shack, so I got to check the rest of it. Bring the jacket with you. This is jacket. So. They celebrate a job well done with a fist bump, having sent an innocent man to jail. Terrible. This guy going to be all right. Hey, Hold that. You good? We're good? The passenger was arrested on charges of drug possession, resisting arrest, and obstructing governmental administration. Wow. He eventually pleaded guilty to the charge of resisting arrest, but only did this to avoid being sent to the notorious Rikers Island prison. Wow. But that was when he was unaware of the incriminating body cam footage filmed by the very cops who arrested him. After the video's release, the passenger's conviction was vacated, and he was free to go. Mm -hmm. In a cruel twist, it turns out both Erickson and Pastran had gotten into trouble for this exact same thing before even with this damning evidence both were allowed to keep their jobs oh my god and we're gonna act like this is normal what how do you get to keep your job when you you're framing people who know they're probably still doing it they already did it that they had a previous problem with oh my god i can't i can't bro holy shit you two let me know your thoughts on this because boy do i have some news for you I'm so mad right now.